One evening, as the moon shined bright on the San Bernard River, a young man by the name of David paddled his way down the calm waters. An urn containing the ashes of his father Douglas sat in the canoe in front of him, alongside his father's old fiddle. Under the same moon and river for which his parents met, David planned on a simple ceremony in remembrance of his recently departed father. He would spread his ashes in the river, just as his father had done to honor David's mother years before. As David reached a spot on the river that he was content with, he looked up into the night sky, admired the stars, smiled back up at the moon, and whispered his goodbyes as the ashes of his father drifted and faded into the river. David gripped his father's fiddle to his chest, disappointed that he had never learned how to play the old instrument. It was at that moment that an old fiddle tune, one that David recognized as commemorating some ancient battle, began to strike up from across the river. Suddenly, a cloud of mist formed, and out of that mist popped a pair of legs in white trousers dancing across the water. The legs built up into the rigid form of a skeleton, dressed in a fine tailcoat, playing the fiddle passionately. The fiddler of the San Bernard played joyfully, dancing and skipping towards David. Taken aback, the young man looked on in terror. Was this the same apparition his father had spoken so fondly of? David didn't believe in stories of ghosts and apparitions. To him, they were just yarns, tall tales his father would spend to entertain David and his siblings when they were younger. The ghostly fiddler stopped in front of David's boat and bowed. David nodded in return, and at the same moment that the fiddler raised his instrument to play, David lifted his father's fiddle to his chest. Suddenly, something strange, something ethereal, possessed David's hands and fingers to strike up and play alongside the ghostly fiddler. And on the San Bernard River, the young man and the apparition played passionately. They celebrated life and death. They celebrated together. Today, haunting tales continue to abound from the San Bernard River of lost maidens, pirates, murders, and more. But some say, if you listen closely, you can still hear the fiddler playing. See you next time.